Hey everybody, Eric Devante here, and you are watching richgirlnetwork.tv. Today I'm at the Dorothy Chandler Grand Pavilion Hall for the Sharing the Dream 2018 Luncheon, hosted by Anthony Anderson, honoring Pat Harvey and Susan Kalichi. Make sure you stay tuned to richgirlnetwork.tv. How, how does it feel to be the recipient of the Activate Award? I am so humbled and appreciative because of who is giving me this award. I so believe in this foundation. I remember when they first started. I remember the plans for this hospital. It was just on paper. And the fact that I have hosted the luncheon over the years to be an honoree today really is extra special. And again, because I know the people involved and what they stand for, what they represent to appreciate my work as a journalist and as an advocate, then it makes me especially proud. <laughs> I really am, and I'm very humble. I love that. Now, one of the ways that you uh, practice advocacy is through the Good News Foundation. So what advice do you have for upcoming news anchors and journalists? We have since dissolved. It's very, it's a lot to form a foundation, but we still do charitable work. And that's how we got started in the first place. I think it's great for anchors and news persons who want to do that. Because when you do work with, when you do charitable work, you're giving beyond yourself. And the reason we wanted to do it is because we've gone in so many communities and they say, well, here they are again. They're here to talk about the bad news. They're here to highlight something that is not representative of our entire communities. So I think as anchors or news people, when you get out there yourself, not only see it, but witness it. And if you can help in some way, then I think it, I think it elevates you. I think when you're sitting behind a desk or you're out there telling your story, you have a better idea of who you're talking about in the first place because you have that kind of experience. So yes, I encourage it. And it's not, as you'd notice, I didn't say anything politically, but to, to help or to advance people that need advancing or that, that need a hand up, then why not? We can be part of the solution and not the problem. Right, so what does uh, Miss Pat Harvey have coming up next? Oh my goodness, what am I working on? Well. We are right in the, in the middle of our ratings periods right, right now. I'm going to be talking about something having to do with, with stem cell research and Alzheimer's disease because that's something very close to my heart. My father um, had the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. So we're going to be working on that. February is coming up, of course, with the Olympics and Black History Month. But there are so many stories that um, I still want to tell that I will. I always have my hand involved in something. So there, my calendar looks pretty busy for 2018, and I wouldn't have it any other way. That's never been a bad thing. <laughs> no, it isn't. Because most of the work I do, I do try to highlight positive things or at least inform people. You know, I believe in that whole idea of not just telling you bad things that are happening, but hopefully at the end of the newscast, if I can give you some kind of hope that, but, but this is what you can do, or here's a number you can call, or you can go to our web and get more information, then that makes me feel like, okay, well, I've done my job. Right? <laughs> All right? Well, allow us to keep up with you. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us? I do. I am on Twitter at, at Pat Harvey News. I'm also on Facebook at Pat Harvey News and Instagram at Pat Harvey News. Very convenient. Very, very convenient and very easy to follow. Well, thank you so much and congratulations once again. You are so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Nice oh, Chris, you were an honoree last year. How exciting was that for you? It was amazing and it really introduced me to this place and this hospital and the mission of it. And I'm actually now on the board of the Hospital Foundation. So uh, for me, that event turned a, a big tide in my life and being able to be involved in what these guys are doing. Life changing. Life changing. So how does it feel for you to be back here tonight or today? Uh, it feels amazing because I because I know how amazing this organization is. It's everything that I believe in, which is healthcare for everyone, exceptional healthcare for everyone. And and now I feel like I'm able to to put my words into action and be involved in an actual physical place that has magic in it. Why should every parent and child watch Dr. McStuffins? Look, I think I hope that people are watching Dr. McStuffins because <laughs> yeah. Because I think she is everything we want our community to be. It is a show about taking care of the people around you, no matter who they are. It's a show that shows a girl as a leader and the smartest kid in the bunch, but also super fun to hang out with. Um, I, I think it's, it's a show that I wrote about the world as I hope it will be someday. 
And I, I, I hope we get there. I wouldn't mind a Dr. McStuffins type world. I think that would be fun. No, it would be fantastic. Right. First of all, who doesn't want to talk to their stuffed animals and toys? Let's just put it right there. Yeah. Right. Do you have any social media that you want to share with us? Uh, sure. I'm on Twitter at Chris Doc Nee. So C-H-R-A-S-D-O-C-N-E-E. -E. Perfect. Thank you so much, Chris. Have a great day. I feel for you guys to be performing here tonight at the Share the Dream Luncheon. It's, it's inspiring for us and it, being able to, uh, you know, play our music in this wonderful event for all the great causes and, and all the people that comes here to support the event and, and, and hear our music. It's always not just to hear our music, but to be part of it through music. It's great, you know. Yeah, I mean, Martin Luther King Junior Hospital is just, they're doing so much for the, for the community and this organization that is supporting the hospital, it's to go down there and see what's happened, the transformation that that hospital has undertaken and what they're providing for the community, it's such a blessing and to be part of this just sort of feels like you're in a room of people that are doing the right thing, that are walking the right steps in life, that are depositing. You know, I mean, it's 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 really what I think we're meant to do as beings on this planet. You know, care for people, care for each other, and I think it's so important that 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 is at the center of this whole. I love that. That's a major key. Do you guys have social media that you want to share with us? Yeah, you can visit us at the website quatrosound.com, and then we have what what else have we got? Yeah, our handle Q U A T T R O S O U N D at uh, and on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And um, at the website, quattrosound.com. Check us out. Great. Thank you guys so much and have a great performance. Thank you.